Now, somebody asked me yesterday, I'm, I'm rebuilding our seismic network at Weston Observatory, and a, a computer software engineer asked me yesterday, um, well, how, how quickly does it happen? And I said, as fast as I can let go. Hmm. I, I was trying to explain to a computer software engineer friend of mine how this works. And I said, well, you know, the data comes in. I got to the point where I am now. And she said, oh, yeah, well, how long? I said, it take a minute, it take 20 seconds. I said, no, no, <laughs> as, as fast as we, she, you saw it. Yeah. Here, as, as, and as fast as you, you could do it and refresh the screen. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is really, really astounding. I mean, it, it, it doesn't feel, to me, it's, I've been around for a long time. To me, it's really astounding. It doesn't feel quite as astounding, I guess, if you are, I don't know, my son's 25, my freshman at Boston College is 18. If you have GPS on your phone, maybe it doesn't seem, but it's astounding. <laughs> Let me tell you. Compared to what we used to have? Let yes. me tell you what's right. astounding. So therefore, once this is all set up, and plugged in. Now, if as we're standing here and jumping up, somebody in Australia can watch us move. Right. Right here is just these last two minutes, mm. right? So you can see those big, big um, things. So if you tap the table, it's going to, you can see now it's just recording it. So it's very sensitive. Yeah. So that's the reason that I'm, you know, I was concerned putting it here because I didn't want it to have too much noise, but yet, it's the best place for the students to see. And overall, you can see it doesn't, doesn't get that much noise. It's just when you're actually on the table. So I think if we encase it, it'll stop the weather related and the, and not really many, you can see not many students touch it. They, they are very respectful with my little please do not touch signs <clears throat> and my caution tape. <laughs> but this was just because, you know, we got, we got it. We wanted to put it in as soon as we could. And, uh, so this is an earthquake that you may remember from October 2012. Oh, this is the one in May. That was felt yeah. all across the Boston area. And so what we're showing here is how it was recorded. We have this exact same setup in libraries and in schools and in different places. And you'll see the waves moving across the Boston area. Okay, so this is part of an international effort, so we probably have thousands, right? Right. We, Boston College, we have about um, three dozen. We're one of the bigger ones yeah. in the United States, so there are other universities that are running 12, 3, 10, whatever. Um, there's uh, so some parallel efforts on different um, there's an effort through uh, Stanford and UC Riverside to uh, have a different kind of seismograph, and they kind of make use of the fact, it's called the Quake Catcher Network, mm -hmm. and they kind of make use of the fact yeah. that earthquakes are felt in California, so they have, when the ground really shakes, um, I was gonna show you the ground shaking here in from the earthquake in Maine, but in California that happens yeah. once a week or so. Oh, and so they have a different kind of seismic network <laughs> oh, also right. in schools right. Right. that yeah. record. So, so there's probably thousands if you add everything I lived up. In. Is, is that all the students at the lock will have an opportunity to learn about earthquakes, about earthquake preparedness, about how to calculate the amplitude and the wavelength of a wave when an earthquake happens with real world data and that every student will be able to see the, the um, seismograph as they enter the building, and then on the Channel One News show, they hear about um, what the, what's happening in the world today, and if there's anything that we need to know about, we can use that as a teachable moment in the classrooms to help them um, understand what's going on.